All right, well, here we are going into week 11. Again, it keeps going faster and faster. Uh, you know, we got a tough opponent coming here at home, San Diego State. They're kind of on a roll right now, but we're excited. And uh, like Mark said, it's senior night. That's a big deal. You know, our guy's last opportunity to play at Sam Boyd. And um, we're real proud of, you know, how hard they've worked and, you know, how they've chipped away at changing the culture here. So it's going to be an exciting night, and we're going to go out there and uh, fight for a W and see if we can stop that trend they got going. Uh, you have Dalton as your number two. Yeah. Yeah, he took all the two snaps today. So, you know, again, um, Blake's day to day, it does not look likely that he'll play in the game. So, you know, Kurt, you know, Kurt's played uh, of the 40 quarters we've played, he's played 17 of them, you know, so he's played really half the season. So um, he'll be ready to go and then Dalton will be ready as a backup. If Kurt gets hurt, would you take the red shirt off or could you go maybe Wildcat just to get through the game? Uh, you know what? Uh, we play every game to win, so whatever gives us the best opportunity. And you know, if uh, you know if we have to take the red shirt off to go, you know, fight for a win, then that's exactly what we'll do. I mean, that's really what it's all about. What, what's Decker's injury? Uh, he's got a swollen ankle and he's got a hip. Tony, just speak to the significance of obviously senior day. Specifically, I mean, obviously, you know, the 20 players that have been at the university for four years. But for you, first year head coach, what's the significance of these seniors for you? You know, I mean, there's a big significance, you know. I mean, there's a couple of things that have nothing to do with me. It's just, you know, this is such a special game. You know, there's no rec football league. You, when you're done with football, you're done. There's a lot of other sports where you can play it until, you know, you're old and gray. And, you know, football's a different sport. I mean, when you when you put away the pads, it, it, you put away forever. So um, it, it's significant for our guys. And then for me, you know, again, I, I, I cannot reiterate how much I appreciate our senior class and, and, and their buy-in and their just, you know, their, their enthusiasm and how they've, they've led and they've done some great things and uh, you know they, they've been a, a true change agent and you know without that without that group you know you wouldn't see the progress you're seeing right now and then guys if you don't mind just talking about you know senior night and what it's going to feel like for you taking that field well I don't know what it's going to feel like but I know it's going to be an emotional night it's the last time all the seniors get to play at Sam Boyd it might not be the last time some of us play uh, football in general but that's the last time we'll play at Sam Boyd and collegiate football so it's a big emotional night for us. It'll definitely be emotional. You know, we've been here for a long time, you know, four or five years, some of us. And, uh, you know, to go out on senior night like that, we're going we're gonna to fight to get that W. For both players, Coach said um, he got here that he didn't want to forget about the seniors. So he said the big picture in mind, but you guys, it's your last chance. What do you think about what you're leaving behind? Um... You know, we want to we want to leave behind a good example for the future of this program. You know, Coach uh, Sanchez is doing a great job building it, and we want to we want to be that class that you know kind of left the legacy of what the classes after us can follow and uh, you know set a standard set a standard for us. Yeah, as Penny said, we want to set the standard. We all the younger guys look up to us, and they're the future. So we want to set a good standard for them, so in future years we can keep building on this success. When you reflect on your years here, whether it's football or otherwise, I mean, just what, what, what do you think about? Is it, the, is it the bowl game? Is it you know, summer suffering through? Just what, you know, what's kind of the first things that come to mind? Um, just the ride itself, you know, um, all the things we've been through since we've been here. Um, it could be the bowl game, but, you know, overall, I look at it as uh, just the life lessons you learn uh, going through football. You know, it teaches you a lot, prepares you for what's coming in the real world. Yeah, same. I can't pinpoint one, one moment or one like summer or something like that. It's, it's everything in, together as a whole that like, made a difference in my life. And all the life lessons, everything you learn. Coach Sanchez even says all the time, there's life lessons in football. Like, that's the big thing you take out of this. And you haven't faced Donnell Pumphrey. What's your uh, opinion of him? He's a, he's a good running back. You know, he's a good running back and our defense, you know, we're going to have to play gap sound and tackle. What, what is it about him that makes him so effective? Uh, he's a shifty guy. He's a shifty running back. He's quick. And uh, you don't want to give him daylight. What, what about defending Don, uh, Donnell? 
Well, it starts with their whole philosophy. I mean, you know, they, they've got a big physical offensive line. They do a great job. Probably have the best fullback in the league. I mean, he gets downhill and he does a great job. And then you, you have a dynamic back behind him. You know, like he just alluded to, I mean, he's a guy that, you know, he, he's a burner. So if he gets into space, you got you got some issues there. But they do a really good job of, again, using multiple backs. And they really lean on the big physical offensive line. And, again, when, you, when you're running the ball an average of 40-some-odd times a game, you know, and, and throwing it probably an average of 15, that tells you a little bit about what they're committed to. Yeah, it goes hand in hand. I mean, when you look at great defenses, they always have offenses that usually run the football. I mean, again, it's kind of a trend in college football when you look. You know, I mean, if, you, if you're going to be a big physical offense that's just going to commit to running the football, you're going to have good time of possession. You're going to list, uh, you're going to um, lessen offensive opportunities for the other team. And then their defense is physical. I mean, they have great secondary runs around their physical tacklers, high pressure, um, by far the highest percentage of pressure that we've seen all year. Um, and that's Rocky Long. I mean, he's done that his entire career. He's a big, you know, go get him guy and uh, play a lot of cover one and uh, they're, they're going to get downhill and they're going to attack. As far as your own defense after watching the video, what's what did you see? Did you see things that were correctable or what did you see? Yeah, you know, I mean, the biggest thing, it comes back to what we said on Saturday night, it was, it was really tackling, you know, fits and tackling. Those are the biggest things, you know, and it's, uh, um, you know, for the most part, you know, there's, we've <laughs> – you know, we've had our, you know, our breaks in the dam a little bit this year on defense, but for the most part, they've, they've been pretty stout against the run. Um, but, you know, that game was, it was unfortunate. You know, when you give up 300 and some odd yards rushing, you gotta, you got to really look at yourself, do some soul searching, and talk about how physical you want to be, and you'd be committed to getting downhill and making tackles. And uh, we're going to talk about that all week, and they're going to go out, and we're going to improve on it, and we're going to get better. No, no, no real change as far as personnel change, right? <laughs> No, there's no personnel changes. You know, I mean, you know, we are who we are. And, and again, you know, we, again, when we talk about it, we've done some good things. I mean, we've seen our defense, you know, play pretty stout against teams like Michigan. I believe we have the number one, you know, fourth down stopping defense in our conference and one of the top in the country. You know, you look at turnovers and, you know, we, we passed our turnover ratio from last year six, seven weeks ago. You know, I mean, they've done a lot of really good things. You know, just, you know, we, we looked a little tired. You know, we don't have a ton of depth in certain areas, but our guys are playing their guts out and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to get a second win. They're going to go do it again. Cindy, it was a uh, non conference one and three. There was like the home loss to South Alabama. It just did, didn't look like things were right. And then they get the conference play and get rolling. Were, did you see like big changes there? Were they just unlucky in some of those games? You know what you saw the most was when you know we look at stat lines and we start studying our opponents. You saw a lot more balance early in the year. They were throwing the ball more. They were they were a little bit more open, and then they really committed to just you know ground and pound and running the football. So when you look at rush attempts early in the year for week one, week two, week three, week four, you're looking at 30, 30, and then you look at the last four weeks. It's 56, it's 40, it's 60, it's 50. So they've really decided that we're just going to run the football, not make mistakes, play great defense. Other than Blake, uh, how do you shape up with injuries? Um, Jeremiah is out right now. Does not look likely that he'll be back this week. Um, you've got Blake that's out. Um, Aaron Criswell uh, did not practice today, so he's a day-to-day -day thing. We'll see how he goes. Um, Troy Hawthorne is out. He did not practice again uh, today, so we'll see how he is. Um, Will Kreitler did not practice today also. Um, we'll see what's going on with him. So, we, you know. We're a little banged and bruised. Uh, Andrew Price, you know, he left the game early. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how he recovers throughout the course of the week. But, you know, he tried to go, could not go today. So, uh, you know, it's football. What, what are their various injuries? I know Bolanga. What about uh, um, Criswell? Uh, Criswell um, had concussion symptoms. Um, he was, you know, so he's going through that protocol right now. Um, Price, ankle, and uh, Will Kreitler, hip pointer. And what about? Concussion. I think that's it. <laughs> Tony, with this being, you know, your last game this season at Sam Boyd, maybe can you just kind of sum up the experience for you at home games this year? I know attendance is up, but what do you feel like the vibe is at, at Sam Boyd? I think it's great. I mean, again, it's, you know, there's been a really good vibe around the whole thing all year, you know, and I think that, you know, the one thing we did is we created a big buzz before the season. You know, we came out and we won some good early games and, uh, you know, and looked well, you know, looked good at times. And I think people, you know, were genuinely excited about that. And, you know, we, it started off in the summertime with practicing out there and really making that a home field. And it's a great place. And we've had great atmosphere. The crowds that have been there, they've been energetic and uh, they, they've helped us quite a bit. So it's, uh, it's a place we're really proud of and we're excited to go defend.
for the players. Uh, I mean, just what, any thoughts on you know, Bobby being the, the assistant coach on the other sidelines? You know, will you just say, say hi to him after the game, or have you get, I monitored anything with that? I mean, what what is the relationship when you know you have a head coach coaching elsewhere in the in the league? Do you think about it at all? Uh, haven't crossed my mind. I mean. Uh, all we've been thinking about is, you know, San Diego State, that's who we're playing. And uh, that's all really I can say. Yeah, for me, we cross that, cross that road when we get there. Like, not really worried about it right now. We have a game to go play. And it's really not about the coaches, honestly. The players have to still play the game, so we're not really worried about it.